Hello, I want to introduce you a new application for Windows Phone 7 called Image Downloader Pro. This application allows you to download all images from a website or web page gallery. It's similar to download managers on desktop, basically doing the same function but for Windows Phone 7. And the only thing that you can save on Windows Phone 7 are images or documents and some music files and videos that's probably the most popular demand would be for images. So this application integrates into my pictures hub. I can find it here in pictures, uh, applications on Mango, and I can start Image Downloader Pro. So it's very easy to use. It has three tabs, browse, download, and about. And uh, browse page basically contains a small embedded web browser and uh, downloads page will show all your downloads and about page just has some information about the app. Let's start with settings. So settings are accessible from about page or from downloads page by clicking on this button. Uh, when you are downloading images from a website you don't want to really download all images because some of them will be really small like uh, one pixel images to fill design uh, to use as design elements. If you want to download all meaningful images from like a web gallery, you should define some minimum image size. For example, width is 300 pixels and height is 300 pixels, which is the default values for the, this application, but you can change it to anything. Uh, please note that this is the minimum size, so images that are smaller uh, on any of the dimension will not be downloaded. Then you download, select the type of images, can be uh, all types of images, images that are linked or images that are embedded into the page. So link is like a, a shrap and embedded or image source something. Uh, four formats of images are supported, JPEG, uh, portable networks, graphics, PNG, GIF and DMP. Because Windows Phone 7 only allows you to save JPEG files, to internal storage, all other formats will actually be converted to JPEGs, uh, including GIF files. So if GIF files can, contains an animation, only the first frame of animation will be saved. Then uh, types of scan. So you can scan only the page you are currently selected as a start page, and then it will find all images on that web page. You can find scan page and all links, uh, all linked pages from that page, so one level deep. That is for most web galleries. Three levels, four levels, up to 11 levels if you want. It will really scan a lot. So maybe page only is okay for now. And advanced options that are only available in pro version, but free version has all the functionality just you cannot change default settings. Has uh, additional options how you check base uh, base or start page url and uh, if do you want to check it only for links or for images or for boss or do not check at all you can allow application to run on the lock screen uh, allow cellular and battery usage for uh, download you want you can set up confirmations before download start and you can choose saving either to save pictures hub or to camera roll also, you can choose the number of concurrent downloads. This is using Mango new feature called Background Downloader and any application can have maximum of five concurrent downloads, so I can set that. And Expert is currently has only one setting because some websites give you different content depending on what browser you are using. You can choose a browser agent string, uh, string to uh, to make this application pretend to be that browser, for example, IE9 or i 9 or IE8, doesn't matter. So now that we are done with the setting, let's go back. Let us go back to the app. So let's start with the browse. In browse tab, uh, there are even uh, example websites. Um, just the browser, for example, I really like this nature photography guy from Russia, who takes pictures in remote area called Kamchatka. So I clicked on that link 
and or otherwise you can just go here and enter in the URL you can copy and paste obviously uh, because this is a Mango application so for example I uh, that's his personal blog and he posts really beautiful images from different areas of Russia and mostly from Kamchatka and some like from East Russia now so I really like this entry once I have some URL typed in here there is a button that looks like a clip box right clip box this is the start download button so there's this three little dots they show you additional options you can go this is basically would be reload page you can clear and that will start from the beginning or you can go back what we'll do now is we'll start downloads so it asks you to confirm if everything what your is really what you want to do so i want to download all images from this web page i say okay and i go look at download page uh, it confirms that scan was completed for these pages and found 10 potentially matching images that is because I choose an option to confirm before download say ok and my downloads are starting 5 in parallel and some of them uh, are now waiting in queue and some of them are currently downloading if I feel like I make a mistake there is also a stop button that allows you to abort all downloads I will not do that now so uh, in just a few seconds all images will be downloaded and because these background transfers run in background I can actually simultaneously go to back to my pictures hub and see the new beautiful pictures I have just downloaded to save images so there is a bear some view of Kamchatka and uh, some pretty flowers and if I go back to application I can see if it's still working it is. Yeah, it is so just one last download and that's it that's done uh, so it's very easy to use uh, you can because of recursive settings you can really download huge websites completely recursively to your uh, internal phone memory after that it's obviously saved to your phone you don't need internet to access these pictures you can use all standard manga features to upload this to your to mm, uh, Facebook use as wall wallpaper uh, or share send by email or send it to any other app that's it I hope you like this application and you'll consider downloading and using it thank you very much bye